everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working with Sweet Stamp Shop's new card kit, and this is a super beginner basic card making video. Sweet Stamp Shop has put together a really great beginner's pack of things that you need when you first start card making or stamping and making handmade or homemade cards. So we're going to go through um, what they give you today in the set. And this is not a traditional card kit. This doesn't come out monthly with new uh, products. This is for beginners so that you can get this kit and you get everything that you need right away to start making cards. So of course you get this beautiful stamp set. You get an acrylic block, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and you get these three memento inks and this memento tuxedo black is what I use and what most stampers that I know use um, all the time for Copic coloring with alcohol markers and this is the stamp set that you get it's really great it has some really cute little images and some really great sentiment stamps as well and in the kit you get these downloadable and printable pdf files and it's packed with lots of information and my printer is a little wonky right now so that's why you see those lines but you also get a really good color theory cheat sheet and some really really great images just for card fronts so they come in a2 size or you can format them and you are able to color them depending on what you use to color and what you use to print but it's got really great images that can be used just as an entire card front, or you can just color it for fun and for practice. And these will stay on your computer, so you'll have these forever. And I think that's just a really great idea, especially with all of the information for first time crafters or card makers. So let's go ahead and get into the card that I'm going to make with the kit today. I have just a piece of scrap white cardstock here, and as I mentioned before, I'm going to be using my, or this Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I use this black ink generally anyway, anytime I'm coloring with Copic markers. It's a really great uh, alcohol safe ink to use, but I also just really love it because it's not super juicy and super wet, so if you're trying to get just a nice, crisp, clean image, I really recommend Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So this is an acrylic block, and I get questions all the time from people who I show my cards to or I show my stamps to, and they think that the stamps are a one-use only type of thing because it's not on a wooden block like a rubber stamp is, and that's just simply not true. You can put these stamps right on the acrylic block. They stick just as they would, or as you would expect a rubber stamp to work. And you ink it up with your ink and stamp it right onto the paper. And then before you put it back, you'll just want to wipe it clean with, I use a baby wipe. Nicole, who is the owner of Sweet Stamp Shop, recommends that you don't use a baby wipe, but use a stamp or ink chamois. Um, and she's got a couple recommendations in the PDF files for you. It's just a little safer on the stamp itself. And now that my stamp is clean, I'm able just to put it right back where I got it from. And you can tell because the lines of the stamp themselves are on the acetate sheet and it's ready for the next time you are ready to use it. And it really can be used as many times as you would like for as many years as you would like, as long as you um, just take care of them and make sure that you clean them correctly. So I'm going to go in to color my image now, and I'm not going to get too deep into any tips for coloring just because I want this video to be very beginner stages of crafting and card making, but I do show the Copic marker colors or shades that I use before I start each section. So basically for the top hat itself, I'm using a very dark, warm gray color which ends up looking a lot like a, a shiny black color when I color it in. I'm doing the center portion of the top hat, like the cloth portion, a cool gray color, and I'm coloring the bunny brown, or an earth tone, I guess as, as it might be for Copic colors. And right there in the center of the ears, I'm just using a really pale pink color. And this set does not have coordinating dyes with it, but not to worry, these images are very simple and really well thought out and drawn so that it's really easy to fussy cut and 
basically fussy cutting is just cutting with a pair of scissors, but it's also really nice to have that option, especially when you're first stamping or first card making, because the chances that you have a die cutting machine sitting around are just not very great. It's quite an investment. So it's nice to have images that are really simple that you can cut out and they'll look great either way. So I have a piece of four by five and a quarter white cardstock here, and this is 110 pound white cardstock. And I'm just setting it up a little bit how I think I would like it to look at the very end when everything is adhered together. And I'm choosing the bottom right hand portion of the card because it's going to be a fairly simple card. So I think having it off center a little bit will just add a little bit of interest to the card itself. I've decided to go ahead and emboss my sentiment and I'm using the I'm embarrassed uh, sentiment for the outside of this card and I'll show you what I'm putting on the inside of the card in just a little bit but I'm going to emboss it with white embossing powder on a black piece of cardstock and that was a powder tool that I just used and it just makes sure that all of the embossing powder falls right off of the cardstock and doesn't stick to any other place except for where the ink is and I'm using Versamark ink for this it's just a very clear sticky ink so that it can stay wet and sticky for a little while. You have some time to work with it and then you're able to put the embossing powder over the top and have it stick there. The reason that I just put that white piece of um, paper underneath is just so I can have a better view. The black on the black cardstock on the black mat make it a little hard to see and center where I want the stamp, but just simply putting a white piece of paper behind it helps a great deal. So I went ahead and put some white embossing powder over that stamp and I'm hitting it with my heat gun. I'm just hitting it far enough away that it gets the heat to it, but that it doesn't warp my paper, which is pretty important um, when you're using tiny small elements to put on your card. I'm using a paper trimmer just to trim this and I'm getting right up on the letters themselves. Sometimes I leave a little bit of a border, but I want this to be pretty tight in itself. I just want it to be the sentiment strip. And I am again playing with how I think I'd like it to look. And then I've decided that I really want a background. So I want something interesting behind the bunny and behind the sentiment that will draw your eye there even more. So what I'm going to do is take a few extra acrylic blocks that I have laying around and some colored ink. And you could definitely use the colored ink that you get in the kit as well. I just happen to have these colors right in front of me. And I'm using the shapes that you get in the set, which I absolutely love because you can create your own backgrounds like this. And a little tip that I like to keep in mind is to make sure that some of these small shape stamps get stamped off of the cardstock, meaning just half of it on the cardstock and the other half hanging off. And this way it looks like a cohesive pattern that's coming together rather than everything that you just stamped right there in the center. To adhere these elements to my card, meaning the bunny and the sentiment strip, I'm going to use foam tape. And this is just to give a little bit of dimension. It will add a little bit of shadow and a little bit of weight to the card, which I really enjoy having. It just makes it feel a little more uh, better quality, I guess, in my mind. Um, but also I just really love the dimension that it gives. It pops it off the card and almost gives it another life sort of like something extra and special on the card rather than just having it one layer. So that's why I like to use the foam tape for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just adhere this right on top there. And I will start working on my card base, which is going to be an A2 size base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And on the inside of the card, it's going to say happy belated birthday, which goes along with the I'm so embarrassed sentiment in the front. To adhere my decorated card front to my card base, I am going to be using Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And I use glue instead of double sided tape or score tape or something like that because it gives me a little bit more wiggle room to get it perfectly in the center. Obviously, you know, if you've ever glued anything, you get an extra second or two to move it around before the glue really dries and hardens and you don't have a chance to do so anymore. So that's why I enjoy using glue to adhere my card fronts to my card bases and things like that. So this is my completed card. I really love the way that all of the elements of the card kit came together and that it really just has everything that you need to make a card like this 
right in the kit. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. As always, my Instagram, Pinterest, blog, and all of the supplies used are linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye.